Hey everybody, what's up? It's Trent and Michael with White Bayou Reefs and Supply in Lafayette, Louisiana. You guys come on in and say hello. If you've never seen us before, make sure to check us out on our website, whitebayousupply.com. Let me find where we are. Trent's going to play on his phone for a while. I'm cheering I'm the just life. kidding I'm with playing. you. I'm, I'm just... working. Oh, you'd think it's the first live we've ever done. <coughs> Every time. It's no, the we're first gonna do. <coughs> That's huge. <coughs> hey, it's look. A Thirty right. inch. We're clear. I know. I fixed it. Hallelujah. I fixed it. We're clear again. We're not fuzzy. Only. Took me 30 days. <clears throat> hey, Michelle and Inger. Hey, Roberta mm -hmm. and Sherry. At Bo, you don't need up here. But he loves it. Hey, Miss Patty. What's up, Cheryl? Cheryl, are we fuzzy? We shouldn't be. All right. We're even kind of bright. <coughs> hey, Miss Mary and oh, Natalie. It was kind of cool today. Was it? Yeah. I was locked in an office for 12 um, hours. I would have no I'm idea. Nine. And it's real nice outside, but there is something blooming or dying or something. Mm. Oh, that rose bush. It has got my allergens <laughs> thank y'all for up. spreading the love hey, yeah we're gonna work in this <clears throat> ball garland oh, your call on my mouse pad is not a good idea what you doing are you drooling tonight no nope. no drools thank you guys for spreading the love hey linda hope you're doing well hey miss linda <clears throat> hey Jill and Donna. Hope everybody has hit look. There's your paw again. Alright, we're gonna work this in. Bo pulled up the He wanted to do some emoji. The emoji. Alright, let's see. I, honestly got. I didn't go outside today at all. I went to it warehouse. was like 72 when I left today at 11 o'clock. I guess I should have yeah. went out in the warehouse to call you. And was it hot? I didn't dive. Heat exhaustion. <clears throat> Georgia Brown, what's up? This wreath looks gigantic. It's a 30 inch. It's huge. It's 30 inches. Hey, Donna. We've moved on since uh, was it last night? Night before last was night before last Halloween catastrophe. Dotty Christmas ornaments are the thing every year. That's the fun thing about Christmas, y'all. You can make it whatever you want. What's, I'm gonna use that one. What's up, Miss Trust Claire? Ow! <clears throat> I'm not using those, is it? I think. It's like, wait a minute. That's a really big wall. It's a puppy pad. Bo would like to. Y'all, I wish he would do what he normally does. So if he comes, we'll do the yeah. new therapy. Well, good, Linda. We're thinking about you. Hey, Maria. Y'all, Bo comes up behind me if I ever have my laptop up like this, and he takes his paw, and he slams he the lid shut, because <clears throat> he wants attention. Don't you? He says, I need attention, please. I'm going to cut that part off. Thank you, Miss Bobby. Your friends are saying hi to you. Can you say hi? I'm not going to make you get down. Say hi. Hi, everybody. Hey, Rhonda. 
<clears throat> His face is priceless. He's rotten, you know. Justin. Alright, y'all look. We just added that in. Fun, whimsy. Bonnie does that too. Uh, Maria's dog does that. Hey, Bon. Bo's the only one that does it. Beamer could care less, and Jax doesn't care. But Bo, one pop. Oh, where did we get? Done, son. Mm -hmm. You have a roll of that ribbon already. I know. I have most of this ribbon already. Okay. So I'm gonna put that in there. And y'all, I'm just really gonna put some ribbon. I don't know if it needs to mesh. Do you think it needs a little mesh? I don't know. What do y'all think? I like it kind of green. Mesh, a little not mesh. Cause this is a mixed green um, wreath, but I could put a little bit of mesh in it. <clears throat> Mary says no mesh. Hey Max. Maxwell, <clears throat> what's up? Y'all, I'm like floored at how clear we are all of a sudden. It's because it was set to low for some reason. Getting a lot of no mesh. No, no mesh. mesh. No mesh. All right. No all right. mesh. I'm kind of with y'all. Sometimes it's uh, nice to have no mesh, isn't it? There's not enough. We'll use that. And... I want to make a big bow. Oh. No mesh, no mesh. These are really pretty wreaths. Do we have these wreaths? Yeah. We have so these, these wreaths actually match those garlands that we were using, ah. and it also ma matches the swags. It's all the same. It's the mixed pine. So we have mixed pine swag teardrops or garlands. swags. Or garlands. The garlands are what I use as the base on our Halloween door. So we're going to use this ribbon. And then a red velvet, and mm -hmm. then this kind of fun. Y'all, this green and white ribbon he's using, it's from Reliance. Um, the wire is insanely stiff. Like, it's really good wire. Can you get yeah. that over? Thank you. That's going to be pretty. Uh, Mary, let me look. I think the garlands are they're nine feet. 99% sure. Let me look real quick because I just did two of them. They've got really nice metal hooks that you can put two together. So if you go to the website and you type mixed pine, you get a lot of stuff. That's not a good thing. Garlic. Well, this time of year, typing pine is not, they're nine feet. The, the number on the garland is X, X as in X-ray, G as in George, 4410. Hi, Jill. What's up, Jill? Hi, Cindy. All right. Okay. Moving the mesh. Moving the mesh. <clears throat> Y'all, if you don't have your tickets to our live stream of our in-person event, they are... <laughs> Darlene, I cleaned out uh, this weekend. We planted potato vines. Ciao. These things took over the everywhere. Like so, we planted mm -hmm. them in a pot in planters, like nice big ceramic planters with other flowers. They grew out to the everywhere. They were all the way out to the driveway, through the other flower beds, through <laughs> other bushes. The biggest mess you've ever seen. Um, they, grew well. they grew well. So anyway, I pulled them all up. It's, it's time for fall flowers. Uh. Leah, it has not. No, I can do that maybe tomorrow. Okay. There's the link so for live stream tickets so you can watch and be part of our in-person event. 
Y'all, they are $45. Uh, if you're not familiar with the event, uh, it's myself and Trent. And our special guest designers are Terry Lynn Marshall with Mill and Dill Designs, uh, Palan with Mood Makers Home Decor, uh, Megan from Gal vs. Glue Gun and Deco Exchange, and Jordan from Designs by Jordan and Deco Exchange. It's gonna be fun, fun, hey, fun. Hey, Jenny. What's up, Miss Jenny? Oh, you know what? This is only five yards. Oh. Oh, they're not dead, Justin. I was just we're done. We were done with them. No. They wouldn't have they died, died for a long time. For, they probably wouldn't have died at all. When you pulled them up, was there potatoes? Yes, there were mm -hmm. potatoes. They were weird-looking, squiggly mm -hmm. potatoes. Um, we had the purple ones and the green ones, and then we have, we still have a bunch of some other kind. It's like an oak leaf potato vine, and those are in the flower bed, and those are enormous as well. Y'all, for this ribbon to be designer ribbon, <coughs> it's not the normal 50, 60, <coughs> 70 plus dollars. Well, it's, it's only five yards. Too. Yeah, it's five yards, <coughs> but it's twenty eight ninety nine. and it's... Look at his loops already. Like, they're like <coughs> starched blue jeans, y'all. Hey, this Ms. ribbon Patricia. is really fun. Go over him. Is that the triangle trees? Yeah. Those are cute. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Allison. Thank you so much. Y'all, if you're not signed up for our text message alerts um, or just notifications in the comments, let me do it real quick. I haven't done this in a while. All right, you can type, you see where I just put it in the comments. It's exclamation point followed by the word notify, and that'll give you notification. Make sure your notifications are on when we go live. But we are going to be having some special things coming up, some class in-person classes, uh, events at the warehouse. We're, we're going to be doing open Saturday. Yeah, we are open this Saturday. We're going to be doing some Christmas tree, some Christmas classes, and we are going to be decorating the trees at our house. Probably on a three-night live. So if you want notifications when we go live. Um, you can sign up for text, and I'll pull the number up right here. You can type the word, text the word live to 337-227-9577, and you'll get text when we go live or we have special events, anything like that. So that's the number there. I'll leave that there for a minute while Trent's tying his bow. Are you chasing mosquitoes? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right, Erica. We're open. This is a big, thick bow. Y'all, I'm telling you, this wire, this thing is amazing. Ugh, what if I can hold her? It's extra hands. Tie those two together. <clears throat> So we'll either, come November, we'll be open almost every weekend, if not every weekend. Georgia said, I'll see you Saturday. Yay! I feel like I haven't seen you in forever, Georgia. I'm trying to think what it was. You what? She came... Is it the last time we saw her? The last time we were open? I don't know. Time flies when you're having fun. <coughs> when do you guys start decorating your houses for Christmas? Because we're going to be starting... Now we have to do it in stages. 
chill. We got to see you in a couple of weekends. Ow! Oh, I can't believe it's October. It's crazy. Patricia, last time you were here, we were in our old warehouse. Hey. Patricia Bland. Sherry does hers after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. November 3rd is making it wait until after Halloween this year. I agree. Well, but I have Halloween on the outside. And we'll have, we've we've had that outside. before, y'all, where it's Halloween on the outside and Christmas trees up inside. Uh, Yvonne, it's not on our end, so you may want to hop out and come back in try that. Black Friday. So we're doing probably three trees this year. Shirley, I think we're going to do three. Maybe, no, just three. So we have <laughs> one big one in the living room. I want to do one in your office though with all of our ornaments that are upstairs. So four. We haven't seen those ornaments in And I don't even know where they are. They're up there. They're up there. I need to go up in the attic because I need Mr. Skeleton to come out. Today would have been a good day if it was cool. Well, come on, Sherry. We have, I'm trying to think who the farthest away is for our in-person events. Who's the farthest? Mm. People from North Carolina, Virginia. Kentucky. Florida, Kentucky. Let's go over here so y'all can see what's going on. Oh, Casey, that sounds fabulous. <coughs> y'all, I don't mind warm weather, but this has been overkill this year. That's what's fun. Y'all, if you really have never been to our warehouse, y'all should come check it out because it's completely different in person. You get to touch and feel. Are you having difficulties? No. Jen, what's up? Jean. Trent's never made gumbo before. That's a lot gumbo. No, we're not originally from Louisiana, so that was just not something you had in Alabama. I mean, I, I, like I, it. I do like it. I like it. it. You don't like it. Sometimes. I've eaten it before. I actually order it. I don't think I've eaten it since I've been here, though. Then you've not really had it. I actually like it with shrimp. In it. Blah. <clears throat> Keep your seafood out of my gumbo. Today at work, they had they said we were having um, at no. They said we were having jambalaya. So this company comes in catering, and I open it up. Is it fish? No, it wasn't fish, but it was noodles, y'all. And they're like, yeah, it's pasta laya. I'm like, I've oh, never heard well, tell. Gross. It was See, okay. I don't like all that Cajun pasta stuff that y'all like down here either. Nobody <laughs> wants Cajun Alfredo shrimp Cajun pasta. I like it. <clears throat> I like it. <clears throat> Nobody wants that. Trent's just an old Alabama boy. And then boy. you go to the pizza place and they want to give you crawfish on pizza. Nobody wants to eat crawfish on pizza. <laughs> Nelda, what's going on? Nobody. Let him out of Barb said, what do you put in gumbo if it's not seafood? I've only had sausage chicken and sausage. And chicken. That's all I've had. 
Yvonne, in Alabama, it was chili. We eat chili and vegetable soup. Mm, I love vegetable She'll soup. She'll say, ah, see, Jen knows what it is. I love pasta. Light. This was pro it was actually decent. It was a little dry, I thought. Well. But well, you know what? It was free <coughs> and I ate me. it. Found two. I do love a good chili when it's cold weather. I like vegetable soup with corn. Casey said we're going to have to teach y'all. Trent's a good cook, y'all. I'm sure he can cook it. Hey, Christina. <laughs> it is funny how much difference the food is here from... I think everything back home Oops. tastes boring now. What happened to it? <clears throat> I still have glue on it and it's stuck. Right. Stuff back home tastes real bland to me now. <laughs> I, never said. I would also like to eat a hamburger that wasn't drowned in Tony Saturn's season. Too. I don't think it's Tony Saturn. I think it just has some spice. Everything to it. is so hot. Y'all, he does not like. When I used things. to teach in elementary, they would give out Tabasco to small children. When he was in the hospital, this it was came like a long on the plate. Ago. And they bring hospital food to you. They bring it with a little bottle of Tabasco and some Tony Satchers. And Tony Satchers. <laughs> uh, the girls at work either have it on their desk or in their purses. I got that hot sauce in my bag. To the children. Tiny Tabasco for the children. We would have chicken nuggets and we would have to have Tabasco sauce. So we had a neighbor, and when the kids were bad, this is growing up, when they were bad, their mother would sauce their tongues. Ooh, they said cool. anything bad, she, they said anything bad, she'd get the old Tabasco out and make them open their mouth and sauce their tongues. I think I'd rather have that than soap. <laughs> What's up, Melissa? Trent, do you like beef in your vegetable soup? I can answer yes. that because he made it yes. the other day. Hi, Cleo. Hi, Melissa. So, Cheryl, the Tabasco plant mm. is literally 20 minutes from here. 30 minutes it's from here. huge. It's if really you go in the spring, you can act, well, when they get done planting the peppers, you can actually buy the leftover peppers to take home. I got hot sauce in my bag, sweetie. I would have had my, Justin Green said he'd have had his tongue sauce. Oh, I would have too. I definitely preferred the idle threats of soap. Although um, I'm pretty sure I remember my grandmother. We didn't get soap, in, which I know wasn't bad, but we would have gotten something else. My grandmother would just tell me one grandmother used a Sears paint paddle that was plastic, it had little holes in it. And you leave little wet whelps on your leg and the other one would tell you to go out in the backyard and pick you a branch out. <clears throat> True I put story. ground beef in my vegetable soup. Hey Kathy. No, I'll eat it without the beef. I'm pretty sure I used to get whoopings all the time. Either did or you didn't. Well I did. <laughs> And then I got a little bigger and my mom would try to do it and I would laugh and think it was funny and then she would just say, that's fine. I'll just wait until your daddy gets home and let him do it. I would rather have gotten one from my daddy than my mom. Hey, Wendy. I think might be done. That's going to be cute and simple. 
Well, that wreath is so pretty, we really don't want to cover it up. It's like... Ta-da! <clears throat> Now all you have to do is take their phone away. That would be awful. Crab apple tree limbs, skinny and stuff. I can't remember what I had to get them off one year or another. Thank you guys. That was easy peasy. So y'all, that is the 30 now, inch. These could almost go in those. We need to do, we'll do something with these this year. They're cute just to put stuff around the base. I don't know if they still sell them or not. Oh, this is like our magic ball. Look at our fortunes. Yeah, what's our fortune? I'm not getting a clear picture on that, Rose. <laughs> Y'all, speaking I'm of Rose. Psychic Gene Dixon. Speaking of what's happening Saturday, we're open. We're just open. Uh, speaking of Rose. I caught word on a Facebook group I'm in for the Golden Girls that there was a pre-sale going on on the Hallmark Keepsake Rose Ornament. So I got on the list and I got it today for $19 instead of the people on eBay trying to sell the old ones for $300. Ha-ha! I guess he left, y'all. Rose. Uh, we're not selling our collection. But these they don't make anymore. Y'all look at our Funko Pops. It's $60 at home for the candle. Wow. Sharon, that's pretty good. These they still make. I think it's this one that was the hard one to get. Dorothy. No, this one. Because oh. they're in there. You got that from Australia. Australia. They're in there, um, not gowns. So. There you have it. That one looks like you. <laughs> uh. She, oh, they always put her in that blue dress. Well, that's her thing. All right. <laughs> y'all be good. We'll we will see y'all later. later. Thank y'all. Y'all go check out the website. Bye. Bye, y'all.